Hi friends! So Spooky Saturday is here. We are in full effect and I have been coming up with lots of fun easy makeup tutorials for things that you can do to pull costume out of your closet and not have to spend a bunch of money. So today's tutorial we are going to talk about a cute little panda bear, right? And this could easily be modified to do a raccoon, but I decided that panda bear would be fun, panda bear would be pretty easy, because most people would probably have a basic black eyeshadow in their palette somewhere, even if they've never touched it, hello. It's a little scary. And most people should have access to some paper that they can easily cut and color if they need to. I just used construction paper. So what I did, was I folded the construction paper in half and then I cut the shape of my ear and took some good old-fashioned Elmer's glue, glued the ear part and uh, slid it over a headband from the dollar store. This belongs to my children. <laughs> so what about the costume? The costume's pretty easy too. All you need is some kind of black sweater cardigan duster. P.S. Use code SPOOKY, all caps, to get 10% off of one of our black dusters um, until Friday, next, uh, this coming Friday. Anyway, ah, code SPOOKY. And then we need a white or off-white t-shirt. Spoiler alert, we have basic t-shirts coming next week. So you want to be in on that. They're going to be $12 for one, two for 20, or three for 27. They are super stretchy, super comfy, and super soft. All right, so white shirt, black sweater, black leggings, or pants, whatever you choose, whatever you fancy, or you could be brave enough to do something like our black Rachel dress that unbuttons and do a white t-shirt or an off-white t-shirt underneath. So I'm going to show you how to do this makeup. It's super easy. Let's get started. Everything you do, it sends me Hello friends. All right, so we're going to start with our bare clear face. All you're going to have done is your basic foundation and your eyebrows. If you don't do foundation, at least put on a CC cream or a BB cream. Now we're moving on. We're going to start right in with the eyeshadow. We're going to use a gray shade to cover the eyelid. We are going to apply this from the bridge of the nose to the edge of the eye. Now this is a super hyper pigmented shade. If you're using eyeshadow from the dollar store, bear that in mind, it's gonna take a little bit more. However, with darker shades, we need to remember that we can always add more, but we can't really take it away. So err on the side of caution at first, because you can always darken it up later. So you'll see I am just getting that one eye done, and now we're gonna hurry and do the other. I'm not quite going down to the lash line because I'm going to be blending later on. The important thing right now is just making sure that the crease is covered and everything looks even on each side. Pro tip, if you look down into the mirror over your nose, your eyeshadow will be easier to make even. Now we're going to move on to the scary color, the black. We're going to start pressing that into the edge of the eyelid. Just very lightly tap. Remember, black, no matter if it's a hyperpigmented, expensive eyeshadow or a cheap one that you get from the dollar store, is a super dark shade and a little is going to go a long way. Tap, 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 tap. Air on the side of caution. When in doubt, you can blend it out. <laughs> We're just making sure everything is even. Nobody now, 
now we're gonna take a white eyeshadow. Any white eyeshadow will do. I'm using a powder pigment pot, but if you have a regular white eyeshadow, it will be fine. Now I'm hitting that part of my lash line that I didn't hit with the black or the gray. This was just so that we can make it a little easier to blend in. The reason why I'm adding some white, even though this is a panda, is all black all over your whole eyelid is going to close your eye off and we don't want your eye to look more closed. So now we're gonna go back through with the black and blend in very lightly with that white. And voila, now I'm gonna take my hand and clean off my brush. And I am going to lightly take my brush and feather those colors up towards my eyebrow. Just blends it out and makes it look a little more even, a little less terrifying. All right, we're gonna go back in with the black again and we're gonna hit the bottom of our nose. Now, I like using eyeshadow to make animal noses over mascara or eyeliner because you're less likely to have it rub all over and crack and dry out. I'm making sure that I get a little down onto um, the top of my lip line, right where my nose meets my lips, um, just so that it looks a little more like a bear. Also, using eyeshadow makes it a little easier to blend everything together. It's not as harsh. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and into the top of your Cupid's bow there, we're gonna tap in some black eyeshadow to make you look a little more like a bear. Now, it is time for the eyeliner. I will continue to sing the praises of this LA Colors uh, liquid eyeliner. It's super easy to use even if you're a novice with liquid liner. The brush stays nice and stiff without being scratchy on your eye. You can find it at the dollar store. It's super cheap and it's a nice, quick, cheap, easy way if you're interested in learning how to do liquid eyeliner. This is the eyeliner you need to be using. We're just putting that onto the lash line, making sure it looks even with the other side. And then I'm going to cat eye this out a little bit just by painting a little bit beyond my lash line right here. We're gonna even it out a little bit on both sides. There you go, eyeliner. It's not as scary as it looks. All right, now we're gonna take our small brush into our gray again and go right in at the waterline under the eye. Remember, panda bears have a little bit of black underneath their eyes too, but we don't wanna use black all the way because A, it's a super dark pigment and it, it can go awry really quickly and B, um, this just, is a nice light touch without going overboard. Plus it's a little easier to blend. All right, next, here we go. Back with the black. Remember, we can add more, but we can't take it away. Now I wanna add a little more black into the edge of the eye line and blend it out so that I look a little more panda bear-esque. All right, next, we have our blush. I am using the lightest color in this palette because I don't want a huge blush cheek. I wanna still make it clear that I'm a bear, but I wanna not look like I'm pale and dying. I'm putting the blush, since it is the lightest color, on my highlight line first, and then I'm blending it down into the apple of my cheek. Now, 
You can either use a white highlight or white eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and use white eyeshadow and we're gonna add our highlights. We're gonna put some on the bridge of the nose. Now, this pigment pot, the problem I had was that it all got uh, gathered in one part of my blush brush and so I had to blend it with my fingers. It's okay, that's what fingers are there for. Now I'm gonna add some onto my highlighted lines on my cheeks. This just kind of makes you look a little more white, a little more like a panda bear. Now it is time for mascara. We're gonna curl our lashes really fast. If you don't need to curl your lashes, bless you and thank the angels. I am old enough that I am to the point where I need it. So now here comes my mascara. I have started using uh, NYX Worth the Hype mascara. I will say that I prefer to use it with a primer, but my I am out of primer right now. Um, so you get to see what it does without a primer. It usually takes me a couple of coats to get to where I normally like it to be. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna put it on really quickly and give a coat on each eye. And our, our mascara is just about complete. Alrighty. See, I'm looking like a panda. Now we need to do our lips. Panda bears, if you look at pictures, have black lips. Now you can use a colored lip if you want. It's totally fine. I happen to be using a black liquid eyeshadow that I have for my lip color because it's what in my what's inside my makeup bag. Um, but there's nothing wrong with going to the dollar store and picking up a 99 cent black uh, lipstick just to use for Halloween. And now we are just about done. All right, there we go. You're a panda bear. I'm just gonna go through and with what black that's left on my brush, I'm gonna blend in a little more and make sure that all of my dark places are as dark as I want them. Ta-da! Thank you guys.